five, four, three, two, one. Ignition and launch. Go Falcon, go Korea Sun. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Launch Complex 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying the KoreaSat 6A satellite. During ascent, we tilt or gimbal the engines, and that turns the rocket horizontally, power and telemetry and orbital, a maneuver known as a gravity turn. We're still going up, but now we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. Moments ago, we throttled the engines down in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic Falcon pressure. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Great call outs on the nets. And max Q is a critical moment during flight because the combined stresses caused by Falcon 9 uh, that are caused by Falcon 9 accelerating through the atmosphere and the ambient static pressure are at their greatest. Max Q. Great call out for Max Q right there. The rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid right back, being pulled back down. which are also called, which is also known as the rocket's plume. And this deposits a layer of soot on the vehicle surface, which is why our flight proven vehicles look so toasty. And that soot comes from the carbon based fuel that found. And there you have it, that landing marks SpaceX's 364th recovery of an orbital class rocket, including first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy. Nominal parking orbit. 